No matter what city you live in, if there is a mass casualty event or even a natural disaster, trauma centers like Atlanta Medical Center and Grady Hospital are ground zero for patient care. Yeah, they certainly are. And with AMC closing, doctors now sounding the alarm, worried that Atlanta simply won't be ready to respond. Now, if Grady gets overwhelmed, the closest hospitals equipped to help, those are at least 90 miles away. CBS 46's Don Shipman continues our live team coverage tonight from outside Atlanta Medical Center. Don? Good evening. Yeah, I talked with first responders today. They say that if this, when this hospital closes, it is going to put people's lives at risk. Doctors are telling me the same thing, but they also point out that this is not going to just impact someone, say, who gets in a car crash. It's also going to impact everyone. My first reaction was shock and, and disbelief. Dr. Cecil Bennett calls the loss of one of Atlanta's only two level one trauma centers catastrophic for patient care. Just having easy access to a hospital within a reasonable distance as opposed to going to Grady. The closure set for November 1st comes six months after Wellstar converted its 250 bed East Point Hospital into a primary care and outpatient facility, closing down AMC South's hospital and emergency department. Dr. Bennett worries about a mass casualty event, like a mass shooting, a bad car wreck, or even a plane crash. Not having an emergency room in that location only pushed patients further north to either Grady or to Atlanta Medical Center. Now with Atlanta Medical Center closing, there's only one location for Metro Atlanta, as well as anyone in the surrounding communities. AMC's closure creates a domino effect for other hospitals. The Georgia Trauma Commission is tasked with overseeing the state's network of trauma centers. Dr. Dennis Ashley says hospitals have plans in place for big natural disasters that shut down a city. But on a, a daily basis, when that's not going on and trauma is wide open, those hospitals are not geared to take care of the emergent trauma patients. They don't have trauma teams on 24 seven standing by like a level one trauma center does. Non-emergency patients could be impacted too. Dr. Ashley says some hospitals may find it necessary to cancel elective surgeries if tasked with helping an already stressed Grady Memorial. It's harder to, to get up to speed and take care of those daily uh, surges of trauma patients, which happens every day. And we've been talking a lot about distance. Well, there's another group of people that are being impacted. We're talking about the employees. I talked with one woman today who works in housekeeping here at AMC. She says that she will likely be offered a transfer to another Wellstar hospital, but it's likely going to be too far for her to travel. Live here in Atlanta, Don Shipman, CBS 46 News. Don, thank you. Let's take